Hello there, Rosalind Gardner here, and today I am going to tell you about my all-time favorite software. And what makes this my all-time favorite software is that it saves me a whole bunch of time that I can use spending away from the computer and not working. So, and so productivity tools are really, really important in my business. I've been using this particular tool for a number of years now. So, you can, as you can see, we're at the netprofitstoday.com blog. I've just made a post, and um, now I want to go and make a post at my travel blog, roamsters.com. And so, what I know that a a lot of people do is they will go to the address bar and they will type in the first letter of the um, URL and then they'll probably scroll down and so I see basically I see roamsters.com but that doesn't exactly take me to the uh, to the right post page uh, I see the a store I see categories and stuff like that so that's um, that doesn't exactly work I could also just type in the domain name and you know go down here and go into site admin and then go into write and wait for that and then write post and here we are but if I go back to where I was at uh, net profits today uh, blog can't type which is actually one of the reasons that I like this software and I start all over again and I type in rm post space and it will take me immediately to the page that I wanted so that makes things real quick right you don't have to think about it you don't have to to look for scroll through addresses you just go right to the page now the next thing that this software does is um, it helps me just with lines of text and code that I've input into the software so for instance if I want to put in an image into this post normally what you would do is you would do this and then you would type in the address of the image but I don't like to do that so what I do is I type in RMI and it gives me the basics of uh, the, the basic code for an image and in this case I want to use an image called the safe JPEG because I'm doing um, a post about um, safes and so let's just look at the preview in a new tab and there it is there's the picture of the safe the other thing that I've plugged into the software is um, the ability to do an unordered and ordered list and okay so if you're if you're used to blogging what you would normally do is you would hit that and uh, okay let me try that again um, you would hit list and you would type in the, the list title so this is uh, like number one and then you would close the uh, close the code on the other hand if you're using the software my all-time favorite software you could plug in uh, something like this and have all the code that you need to build an ordered list see this ordered list I can also do an unordered list if I do this so there's your unordered list so that's that's the you know some basic things but I actually like it because I can do a whole lot of typing in a very short period of time and one of the things that I do here I've just got moved over to my uh, email client Eudora and uh, one of the questions that I often get from affiliates is do I have a uh, no, uh, no pop page um, for the super affiliate handbook that they can use um, to promote the book through Google AdWords and so what I do is I go to your Eudora and I will type in slash pop space and you know that I'm not typing this because this is way too fast I don't type this fast and there you go there's my letter all I would do basically is input the address and a, and a subject line and I am ready to go so let's take a look at the software itself it is called perfect keyword keyboard pro and like I said I've been using it for years and what's really cool is that it's so easy to um, to add a macro and that's what all those things are called are macros um, actually the, I'll just show you what um, the post the roamsters post page that we went to basically that's the title I'm just gonna scroll down to where that is here roamsters post so you can you can scroll through and you can see all of your um, your the names of your macros and you can see the text shortcut here and um, and there's the macro itself and down in this uh, in the macro definition box this is you just type this in to get the uh, the name the the 
text that you type into say the address bar is called the trigger so in my case I used slash rm post to get to that page and the macro itself is the URL of that page and uh, you just type that in and so as you can see I've built a list of different macros um, and uh, it just seriously it just makes my life a whole lot easier it saves so much time and actually I haven't shown you half of what this program can do I haven't shown you a quarter of what this program can do but uh, I'll leave it up to you to take a look at it and um, and I hope that you enjoy it and start uh, start using it in your business and uh, start saving some time to do some more important things than work alright have a great day